Okay. It is now the evening and we are at Gina's going to sleep. Talk to you guys in the morning. Hello. So I am at my girl Gina's house. She is the owner of Nobby Bakehouse. Cashew and I are staying here in Virginia for the weekend. And by Virginia, I of course mean Northern Virginia. Here's this guy. Cashew, say hi. So we're staying here for the weekend and essentially I am here in the DMV back again because of Thomas's white coat ceremony. Thomas is my sister Jenna's boyfriend and he just got into medical school so we are all going to support him in his white coat ceremony and gonna watch him get essentially initiated into med school. Go Thomas, very proud of you, very excited. But that means like I have to get ready and put on a face of makeup, look really cute, and then I'm gonna head into DC. I think this morning we're gonna have a little bit of a slow morning, get some breakfast, just really kind of get situated this morning. If we have time, we are gonna go to Restaurant Depot and pick up some dinner for later. I think we decided to just stay in rather than go out, but we'll see. I really like kind of just doing something different, staying with my girlfriend. It is something that I feel like I needed because I've been kind of like in this like funky state, like I mentioned, like of being up and down. So I wanted to change my surroundings in order to kind of feel something different and hit a little reset. Highly recommend doing this. I mean, you don't need to break the bank. You don't need to spend any money. Call up a friend that you haven't seen for a long time. Go stay with your parents. Go say hi to your family. There's just so many ways that you can kind of change your mental state and you really have to take the initiative in doing so but in doing so it leads to a happier better life all right let's get ready to bed it is now 10 06 a.m just got ready did a little like organizing unpacking packing kind of thing I think we're gonna go get some breakfast, so yeah, let's get it. OBGYN storefront. How interesting. I guess doctor or offices are gonna have storefronts now. Like, well, they do in New York. Oh, is this the place? Ooh. Fresh, hot bread. Great Harvest Bread Co. It sounds familiar. I feel like a friend might have worked with them. There's another place that has the same name. Oh, okay. Then that's definitely what I'm thinking of. some amazing samples and by samples I mean they give us like a whole slice of bread that we've been eating as well as like half of a blueberry scone very tasty yummy we are now going to get flowers for the white coat ceremony mm. 
for Costco's, but that's for flowers here. Oh, let's do that. Ooh. Bye. Yeah, probably don't upset him. Costco got some Asian vendors. Well, I cooled off a little bit, just left the white coat ceremony, and now I have driven myself to Georgetown, which of course was right down the street from GW. I'm gonna go to Major. The good people at Major have always kept my feet with the heat. Major is probably one of the only places that I'll go out of my way when I am home or if I'm ever in DC, and I'll go out of my way to go and drop by the store, say hello, go pick up something. They're all about community and they've been in the sneaker game for like longer than you can imagine, so respect. All right, let's go walk around Georgetown. Got in the car, got situated, and picked up brand new Jordan Woman from Major. Thank you so much to the team, as always. I've been itching for the shoe. I mean, I keep getting ads for it. I keep seeing it on people that I follow. I just, I really wanted this, but I wanted it kind of like on my time, my terms. I didn't want to pay for shipping. I didn't want to go through that entire process. So I'm glad I finally picked it up and I think my best sneaker purchases are the ones that are... Oh, leaving in like five minutes? Cool. I think the best sneaker purchases are the ones that are like meant to be and I feel like when I walked into Major and they had these, I mean, I got them. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go back to Gina and then we're gonna eat some dinner. I also need to hydrate. I'm dying. It is so hot today. It is 92 degrees. It is sunny. It's not that humid, luckily, but it's definitely hot. <laughs> I love seeing DC art. I spy a Kelly Tolls in Georgetown, the corner of 30th. Yeah! 
Oh, shoot, come here. Come to the bottom. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh. Hi, Tank. Hey. Hi, yo, baby boy. Hi. Buy a beamer. It can turn on before you even get on. <laughs> get in, I guess. It will start before you need to get in to avoid being in a very hot or cold car. I wish my childhood was as this lit as these kids. This is goals. Way to get kids to spend more time outside. Buy them their own inflatable blow up house. So sick. Ooh. To have ever existed. Okay, they have these truffle chips. I think I'm gonna try that. They also have sour onion. I think I'm gonna try that too. I don't know what's happening. We got some groceries, we stopped at CVS. I got all of my essentials. I got, so this is antiperspirant and deodorant and I find that I really like this the most, mainly because the antiperspirant is pretty high. It's like 16.3 of aluminum zirconium pentachlorohydrex which is an anti-perspirant. Uh, so I really like this for those with hyperhidrosis. I ran out, so I need more, and now we're here. I bought a little thing of solution for my contact lenses. I think I'm gonna end up leaving this here because Gina and Alex, they don't have any kind of like eye problems like me. So every time I visit, I always forget this because I almost always have it in a separate travel bag, but my weekender bag, I haven't exactly prepped it with all the kind of like little essentials I need, contact solution being one of them. I should probably put this in my bag, but I actually think I'm gonna leave it here at Gina's because I come here like decently often and sleep over and they always have me, great people. I also oddly ran out of contact re-wetting drops because of my hyperhidrosis and I take glycopherolate. Because of that, it does kind of like dry out my whole body and eyes included. I already had dry eyes, but I was able to get like the Accuvu. I think it's a refresh moisture. Anyways, it's like the most moisturized contact lens. And after I changed over to that, it totally like helped everything in terms of moisturizing my eyes. But when I started taking the glycopherolate for hyperhidrosis, it did start to dry me out. So I did find that putting these in daily, depending on how many of those little pills I take, is almost a necessity. I do feel my skin dry out a little bit at times, but I feel like I kind of do it on purpose because I'll take more of the pills when I know I'm going into the office one day versus like staying at home. Finally, the last thing I got were eye itch relief drops. And actually this is the same ingredients that is in Zadiator eye drops. Zadiator is really good for allergy and pollen that often gets into your eyes. They also are like very tiny micro particles. So you don't always kind of see them. I got this eye itch relief drops. These are going into my eyes without contact lenses though, very important to mention. This has the same ingredients that that Zadiator does, and I love taking those, especially during the spring and summer. I'm finding that my allergies are just kind of like getting worse as I'm getting older, so I do like to pop these in sometimes like in the evening or first thing in the morning. I feel like it helps kind of like clear the eyes out of any pollen that might be in there. The more it burns, the more that I think it's working. That's it, that's all we got from CVS. From H-Mart though, we did get like four or five different kinds of chips. 
I got my classic honey butter. I showed you guys that. Then I just started getting like really greedy and started just like grabbing things that sounded really good and I really wanted to try. I think because I'm visiting my friends and we're having like a pretty big group dinner that I felt kind of like, ooh, I can definitely like do a taste test of all of these and not feel bad about just like leaving them all like pretty filled and open because I'll only have like a chip or two. I say that now, but I also said I would only have one cookie and I ended up eating a half a cookie on top of that. He's really enjoying being here because Gina has two dogs, one older one, one small baby puppy one, but actually like six months I think ahead of Cashew age. Cashew loves coming here and playing with them. I mean, I feel like it's a it's a vacation for you, right? That's true. <laughs> Do you love me? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Popo? Okay. 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 I know. We love you. <laughs> Alright, let's go see if Gina needs help with dinner. We also need to take a moment and talk about the shirt. Currently wearing Jenna's Small Joys tee. I'll leave a link down below. We're eating dinner here at the house. Gina and Alex went and picked up a ton of seafood. I think we're having crab legs, no crab legs, or king crab legs, I'm not sure. Anyways, we're having crab legs and shrimp. And then I think we picked up a few things also at H Mart, so probably sprinkling that all in too. I also need to edit a video, so maybe we do that as dinner is prepped. Hey, let's go downstairs. Okay? You wanna go downstairs? You wanna go downstairs? Cashew, do you wanna go downstairs? Oh, a little too sour. Yep. More sugar. Yep. Uh -huh. And I love sour. Yeah. Just to dip the crab like the nice. That's what I play her. Uh huh. I'm put some cilantro in there too, and oh, this smells really good. Yeah. Nice. You're like the same. Hey, baby. Hi. Hey, Cashew. Oh, yeah. Butter. Still sour. Still too sour? Really? I don't taste the sour like at all. <laughs> I think it's actually, actually don't put more sugar in. I think it's gonna taste better. With the crab. With the crab. Like, it's like I'm just having it like bland yeah. right now. I think once the crab is, hits it, it'll be a different flavor. Okay, yeah. so what's inside of this? Cilantro. Chilies. Mm -hmm. Garlic. Fish sauce, lime juice, sugar. Yum. Simple salad. Nice. Um, onions are really sweet because they're like the dahlias. So. Oh. Very nice. Oh, hi, 
baby. What? Okay. Turn it in. It's like Jenga, it's Tetris. Yeah, it's Tetris. Tetris with crabs. Mm -hmm. Wow, the shrimp looks amazing. We got a whole pot. Wow. I'm so excited to try this. Yogurt soja. Look at this cashew, it's mine. What was the last one? Oh, it was? Dang, no cashew. I'm so excited to eat this. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, okay, so you want it, you don't? No. But some people do still, it yeah. doesn't come out. This so is the classic. It comes off like this. I got it. <laughs> Wow. It tastes like the peach oh, jelly. Right? Peach jelly. Mm -hmm. I love peach. Peach is like my favorite oh. fruit. What other flavors does this come in? Right. Uh, like the green grape. Nope. Like concrete grape. So that is kind of like... Mm. It is good though. It's like candy grape kind of taste. It doesn't taste like medicine. Uh -huh. is, that, is that the OG? Like, it's really good. Right? H-Mark, but it was the last one. Oh, really? No. Oh. This is amazing. I, I need the H-Mark. You're going to have to spell this out for me in English so I can tag it in this video. Oh, really good. This is the best thing. <laughs>